I know that guy has a base around here somewhere. But where is it? I don't know. Is it over there, maybe? Maybe, uh... No, maybe it's over this way somewhere. Hey, what's up, guys? The Methodical Mad Hat here. And today, I thought I would show you guys a pretty interesting idea for a little base. Uh, I'm gonna say this would be like a stash base. So kind of uh, an area, a place to... I guess bounce back if your main base gets raided or something. And, uh, yeah, so if we show you inside... Oh, it's empty. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just a just a two-by-one. And a pretty simple design. But I thought it was kind of cool. The, the main feature... I can fit pretty much everything that I need to get started again into this little base. And also, you can build the base before you put the stuff in. I've seen some other ideas that uh, you kind of had to put the stuff in as you built the base, which kind of left you exposed for quite a while, especially if you were, you know, gathering resources and stuff in the meantime. So this way, though, you can actually build the base and then have a nice safe location to get started in. So here's, uh, I'll probably put it up on screen, the materials that you'll need. I've got a little piece of paper here that tells me everything you need, assuming that my math is right, of course. But for the structure itself, it will take three, or four, excuse me, 530 uh, stone if you build it out of stone. Now, you could do it out of wood, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think stone is just, uh, for the most part, especially if you're not playing on an official server and you're playing with a, on a server where the, the timers are turned up a little bit, I think stone is definitely the way to go. Uh, wood, you will need 270 and then thatch you will need 195 and that is just for the, the structure in here but then also for the stuff that goes in it you will want a bed of course a smithy a refining forge mortar and pestle and two small storage boxes and that will bring the total of all your materials up to uh, 385 wood 770 stone 315 thatch 90 fiber 5 flint 140 hide, and 10 metal ore. So, now I'm going to show you guys basically just how I put everything in here so that it works out pretty good. First, you're going to put your storage boxes as tight up in this corner as you can. Like so. I don't want to go too far. I don't know if you can put them too far to where you could access them from outside. But uh, just in case, you know, be careful about that. And then if we put the next one right beside here, and there's something large outside... What are you? I think there's some Brontos walking around here or something. But anyways, that's the start of it. Then you're going to want to put your bed down. And I'll just stick it right there in front of the boxes. And then your refining forge goes back in this corner over top of your bed. Now there is just one refining forge, but uh, for the most part to get started again, that's all you really need. And then the next step will be the smithy. And this is where you want to be kind of careful. Because you have to get it pretty close right here. I think that'll work pretty good. But you don't want to get it too close because that makes it hard to walk back through here. Now the one thing is, you, it's kind of hard to access your refining forge. You can do it. But one way to help with that is if you put a pestle and mortar here. And then push C so you crouch down. You'll walk right up on here. And then you can access everything without any problem. Including this chest in the back here. So, in the end, you get quite a few, or quite a bit of storage area, because you have the, the 75 slots from the smithy, and then two of these small storages, which have 15 apiece. So that's 105 storage slots. Plus, you can have, you know, some stuff in the refining forge and everything. But yeah, and you could also put some more, uh, let me stand up again, some more pestle and mortars around here if you want it to. And I think the campfire, you could probably... Now, the campfire, I think you're going to have to set outside. Like so. So, you know, you don't have the campfire inside, but really, most of the time, if you're going to be using a campfire, you're going to be outside anyways, or right around your base, working on something. So, yeah, that's kind of the, the basic idea of it. Now, I will say I wouldn't recommend this as a, you know, purse or as your, your main base, just because it uh, uh, can be easily broken into. I actually just built this base on a server, and it was completely destroyed recently. And uh, it didn't seem to be too hard for the other people to get into it. 
But another problem with it is there's no room for any dinosaurs. You could put a Dimorphodon or something in here probably. But uh, yeah, that's, you know, for the most part, just for the, the idea of it is a place that if you die, you can respawn and uh, have some stuff in here. Have it tucked away in a corner. That's kind of the most important part is have it hidden away pretty well. This probably isn't the best location, but uh, you can find a little bit darker forests in various maps and stuff. I think pretty much all the maps right now have a pretty dense forest in it somewhere. I also colored this uh, green just because I think it blends in a little bit more. It's actually forest color and uh, in case you're wondering it will take about four dyes to do all the outside here. Which isn't bad at all actually. It takes about one die just to do the door. So yeah it does pretty good. And now just to show you guys that you can respawn in there because it is kind of the beds kind of tucked away in there I am going to come over here and politely ask this parasaur to kill me you're only level 32 though I do have an awful lot of health on this character come on you can do it you can do it I believe in you I believe in you yes go ahead I'm injured now there we go <laughs> took you long enough okay let's see if the bed shows up there we are respawn in bed and you are kind of glitched through the ceiling but then all you have to do is hit C and you can walk right out so yeah I think that's gonna be all for this episode uh, if you guys enjoyed make sure to smash the like button and uh, subscribe if you're new to my channel and also as a side note I think that I'm going to be doing a series on this where this will be the only structure that I can build. And uh, I'm not sure how how far I'll go with it, but I think it'll be pretty interesting. So make sure and stick around and stay tuned to my channel for that. And uh, I will be on a public server, although it's not a very high population server. But uh, are you checking it out too? Are you interested in it? Okay. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys next time.